everyone today we will see the reproduction in earthworm the reproduction is the process in which the new individual is formed from the pre-existing one then the reproduction are of two types sexual reproduction and the asexual reproduction the sexual reproduction in which the male and the female gamete fuse to form a new individual while in a asexual reproduction the male and female gamete do not fuse in a earthworm the reproduction is a asexual the earthworms are the hermaphrodite means both the male and the female sex organ are present in the same organism but they cannot fertilize their own eggs because due to the position of the genital pore in the same organism they are potrandous means in which the male is mature earlier than the female and in a earthworm the reproduction is take place with the help of the cross fertilization the may the next point is the male reproductive system the male reproductive system of the earthworm consists of testes testis sac spermidal funnel seminal vesicle fossa differentia accessory gland and the prostate gland first of all we will see about the testes the testes of the earthworm are the white lobules and which is present in a pair it consists of the two pairs in 10th and the 11th segments they are present ventrolaterally and below the elementary canal on either side of the nerve cord in a testis sac and in these testes there is a finger like projection and that finger like projection consists of the round shaped cells that is called as a spermatogonia the next part is the testis sac the testis sacs are the void thin walled structure which are also in a pair and they are also located in the 10th and the 11th segment and each testis sac encloses the testis and the spermatoctal funnel the 10th segment sac communicate with the seminal vesicle of the 11th segment by a tubular connection and the 11th with the 12th segments the 11th testis sac is larger in size than the 10th one because it encloses the seminal vesicles because the seminal vesicle are present in the 11th and the 12th so in a 11th testis sac which encloses the testes a uh, spermatical funnel as well as the seminal vesicle so it is larger in size as compared to the first one the next part is the seminal vesicles the seminal vesicle is also white color wider part which is a large part and which is also in a present uh, which is also in a pair and which is present on the 11th and the 12th segment it is also called as a septal pouches because which is originated from the outgrowth of the septum the 11th seminal vesicles is enclosed in a testicle sacs while the 12th one is a free and in the seminal vesicle the maturation of the spermatogonia into the spermatozoa or the sperm taking place 
the next part is the spermatic funnel the spermatic funnel is a white curved ciliated part which is present in a pair and which is also present in a 10th and the 11th segment and which is enclosed within the same sac which help to pass the sperm from the seminal vesicle to the fossa differentia the next part is the fossa differentia the each spermatic funnel is lead into a slender narrow ciliated tube that is called as a fossa differentia which extend from 12 segment to the 18 segments and that fossa differentia run together posteriorly and join to the common prostatic and the spermatic duct and which help to collect the sperm and gives the sperm to the prostate gland the next point is the prostate gland a pair of gland present on either side of the intestine from the segment 16 to 10 21 that are the prostate gland the prostate gland consists of the number of ducts that ducts join with the two fossa differentia to form the common prostatic and the spermatic duct and that common prostatic and the spermatic duct open into the male genital pore in the 18 segments and this prostatic gland secrete the prostatic fluid which help to make the sperm motile accessory glands in the earthworm there is again the two pair of the accessory glands are present that glands are present on the 17 and the 19 segments that glands are the fluffy masses they open to the exterior by a number of ducts on the genital papillae on the 17 and the 19 segments the secretion of the accessory glands help to unite the two worms during the copulation that is called as a pseudo copulation pseudo copulation means self copulation that is the term which is used for the self copulation the last part of the male reproductive system of the earthworm is the male genital pore the one pair of the male genital pore present on the 18 segment of the earthworm thank you